Hello everybody, this is Alex from the Squid Squad doing another review for some more Terrain Crate. I've purchased another three boxes of Terrain Crate, um, so I'm going to do a, a review on each of these. The first one I'm doing is for the Dungeon Depths, it's one of the larger sets. I believe these larger sets combined four different sets together into one box, uh, makes it more affordable I guess. If, you're, if you are looking to get all of them, obviously individually I think they're around about £20. Um, but in this one set it cost me 50 so more affordable overall than getting each of them which would have been like 80 quid or something individually but yeah this is the Dungeon Depths set um, and it's got 73 pieces so we're going to take a look at this right now get into it so rather than, rather than the, uh, the sort of the wooden tray the well, wooden box sort of thing that it came in with the uh, camping set this one um, comes in these two trays not really sure why. I felt I felt like the wooden box would have been better, just so you got something to you know keep it all in afterwards. But uh, never mind about that. Let's start with this top one first. So they give you a little a little doggy bag with some smaller pieces in. We'll get to that in a bit. But uh, so there's a it looks like a carpet. Obviously they're all unpainted, but that's uh, that's why they're so cheap. But you know I can paint that all paint all that up eventually. So you've got a carpet, what looks to be, might be a, a banner that you would hold up. Um, I mean you can probably paint it with some sort of sigil of a house or something like that. Um, it's got a ladder, and then it's got these, little, these four here, which are various traps, or just a trapdoor, which I think I'll use the trapdoor mostly. If, uh, if I'm doing a sort of my encounters are probably going to be smaller scale, so I don't think I'll have a, 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 a massive dungeon where I'll be able to then put down traps. But that's just me. Anyone can use them however you want. It also comes with a small table. Um, obviously, you can use that for like a, a bar or something like that. It also comes with these larger sort of regal chairs that possibly for your king or queen if you ever do a, a throne room of some sort. And then. It comes with two lamps. My, unfortunately, one of mine have come slightly bent, so I'm gonna have to look into trying. Yeah, it won't even stand up. Trying to correct that at some point. I believe there is a way to do it, to because it is just it's just plastic, isn't it? So I could bend it back into place, but it doesn't stay there for too long. So I need to find out. I believe there's a way online that, where you can you can fix them. It comes with these two different kinds of tables got a four-legged one and sort of like a two-legged one. It's got like more panelled wood, it's more chipped and such, but you know you can use them for two different locations. And there's also two benches, so put them either side. It comes with various various boxes. This is very feels very heavy in your hand this one does, but it's just you know you could have it in some sort of storeroom. Lots of boxes and then an individual oh, I'm dropping it now. An individual box, and then some barrels. One of the lids is open, but it's there. And then this is just like a pile of debris. So you've got some broken boxes, barrels, what looks like a possibly a damaged table. But uh, if you look around, you can see the the box there is flat. So that's most likely where it would stand up like that. And then it's the same, another one similar to that. But uh, I think that's the bottom there, so you probably stand it like that. And then this is just, it looks like brick, damaged brick terrain. And that's almost all of it. We've just got the little doggy bag to go through now, which I haven't properly looked through myself actually. So we've got a couple of what looks like frames, so it could either be mirrors, or you could maybe paint some sort of picture on there if you that's inclined. It's another small bag of debris and then you've got some little chairs so you can sit a couple of these smaller chairs around the larger table. There's also stools little stools down there and then some sort of handle or crank or switch I guess and then I think this is supposed to be some sort of trap mechanism so maybe if you're doing like a larger scale dungeon you can 
not had it shown, but when maybe the adventurers have found it, you can put it down. Um, these look to me, you probably can't pick it up too well, but it's a, uh, it looks like cups and such, so I'll probably put them on the table. This, you know what, I actually can't really tell what it's supposed to be. No, I can't really tell what that's supposed to be. Random terrain, I'll have to look into that one myself. That's the same, to be fair, I'm not really sure what that is either. And then we've got a couple of skulls. Yeah, those are skulls. And that's another one of those weird little bits. And then we've got some, some plates with some cutlery on it. And then another random bit of who knows what. So that's from the uh, the top tray. You see, already we've gotten quite a lot of uh, little pe bits and pieces. Um, I'm quite happy with a lot of this, because a lot of this can be used in, in pubs and such like that. Um, I believe in one of the other sets, there is a duplicate table with chairs and such like that. So, you know, you've got potentially multiple tables, you've got the benches as well. So you can, with just this, this set, and if you get another one of the terrain grade sets, you've got enough to, you know, start building up a, a, a much larger thing. What I'm going to do is push all this off to the side to get it out of my way. Get out of it. And start going into this set. Well, a lot of the pieces have come out, but... So, I've picked out one piece already. It is literally a casket. <laughs> There's no way, other way about it. It comes off. you also got a mummy, so... You can put the mummy in there. <laughs> you can have it closed. And then have the mummy come out. There's also another one somewhere. He's hiding. Here he is. He's more flat on the back side, but it is just a body, so you could just put the body in there and have it closed like that. And if the adventurers go in, take it to one side, and there you go. They've also got an Iron Maiden sort of front that goes out for the top of here, but there's also another one. You've only got the one back though for this, but it could also be a mummy sarcophagus. I think it's quite interesting, should you wish to do that. Next, just a pile of logs. Nothing too interesting about it, but it's good set dressing. Let's go into these larger pieces. So we've got a pile of money. And we've also got another pile of money. And then all the gold ones, ironically, are the more valuable things. So a series of chests with maps and all sorts. And a smaller pile of gold, and then what looks to be a pile of just weaponry and armour. Fortunately a couple of these are a little bit bent. That's actually damaged, which is a shame. Uh, I might try to fix that, or I might just peel it off. It's not a big deal, but it's just it's a shame when some of, the, some of the pieces come a little bit damaged. And there's another smaller pile of money. And then we've got some of the more uh, dungeon-y things. So we've got a torture rack. <laughs> And then a torture sort of table with manacles and such like that to keep people on. And then this one does come with some wizard towers stuff. So you've got like a, a, a shelving unit with could be anything or magical items, all sorts of stuff on there. You've got a nice comfortable chair for the wizard to ponder. And then this, I believe, is just like a, a stand. It's going to be like a water basin. So it could be like a some sort of magical scene basin where you look into the waters and see a future or any any you know whatever you want to think it can be that and then this looks like it's supposed to be some sort of solar system you know viewer mine is a little bit bent in the center so again i might need to fix that but also it is damaged on one side i think that that is purposeful though so it could just be that you know it's a long dead wizard's tower so maybe n not everything's in the best condition and then it's, we've got a, a mirror that's on a stand. And that's all out of that. But we've just got the doggy bag to go through it. Let's see what's in here. So let's pour it down like that. So we've got, yeah, it's like a, a basin with a cup next to it. And then there's something else underneath it. It might be a bit of cloth. But, uh, you know, we could just put that. If we were having a wizard's tower, we could literally just keep the table here and have that, you know, where he would have been eating. Put that over there. And then 
These look like torture implements on some sort of wheeled, wheeled uh, cart. So that would probably go over there. And then this is just a stand. So you could put any old thing on the stand. For instance, this little uh, crown on a cushion. There you go. And then you also get a sword in a stone. So if you want the sword in the stone in your adventure, or something similar, there you go. Well, so we've got here, we've got some what look like potions and little bags and stuff like that. So again, knock that off. Maybe that's the prize. And then we've also got a little dagger, a little uh, magnifying glass, some scrolls, a bit of paper. So, you know, that could be uh, something that's under the desk of the wizard. You've got a, a pouch of gold that does lie flat. So a lot of this is just nice little bits to add to your terrain. This is literally just some candles. So, you know, you can put it on top of one of the tables. And then these, I believe, yes, they're candles on long candlesticks. So it seems a bit weird to have it like one candle. You'd think they'd have a candelabra rather than that, but hey ho, one's obviously bent again, so I might have to fix that one as well, if I can be bothered. And then just some books and an inkwell. Put that over there. And then it's an owl on a stand. So either you could have it as an actual owl, or maybe it's some sort of construct, construct that the uh, wizard has made in his tower. But yeah, that's everything in this large, much larger terrain great set. I am very happy with it. It's obviously going to take a lot of time to sort of paint it all. But I'll probably paint it paint the bits that I think I'll use the most, such as like this, and maybe I'll paint these big piles of treasure up, and the tables and the boxes probably. Um, but some of this other stuff I'll get to eventually. Um, maybe I'll paint that up as well first. But yeah, it's a very nice set, it's very hardy plastic. There's obviously the the little bits where it gets a bit, you know, where it's thinner, so the, pl the plastic bends a little bit. But I do believe you, I have heard tales online where that can be fixed. So I'm going to look into that myself. Um, and obviously there's a, a piece here in there that's a little bit damaged. But I mean, other than that, I'm very happy with it. It's very good quality plastic. It's going to last me a long time. It'll last you a long time if you get it and just keep it stored in a nice safe location. Um, I do have a few boxes here and there. I'm going to start putting some sort of uh, feeders into it so I can put, put my terrain so I can sort it all out and everything like that since I'm only just getting all this terrain so I don't have any, anywhere properly to store it yet. You'll have that problem as well eventually. But yeah, thanks very much for coming by to watch. Um, we do have more of these reviews coming up. I hope you enjoy them. Otherwise, you can go by our Twitch channel and watch all of our games live as well. We do lots of video games live and we put the videos onto the YouTube as well afterwards. We've got an Instagram, uh, we've got Twitter. I'm pretty sure the links will be in the description below. Uh, but come back and watch some more. I hope you come back. Have a good day now. Bye-bye.